What's up guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today we are working on replacing this grill as it's uh, chipped and kind of ugly in the first place. So this will be a quick short video. We will just be installing this S6 style grill in the front, just like a honeycomb mesh. Will look a little better. So we'll go through the steps on how to remove the bumper and how to install this new grill. Uh, I got this grill off of Amazon and I'll put the link below. It was pretty cheap, it was only like 80 bucks. So once I install it, I will leave my review of it. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. And accompanying me today on this project is actually my little big brother. It's his first time uh, work working on some German car stuff, so we'll show him the tricks and he'll help with some of the camera work and it's also some of the drill work here as well. Mr. Botman here. This is the factory grill here. Obviously this piece comes off and you can replace it, but I just don't like how it looks whatsoever, so that's one of the big reasons we're swapping it out. All right, so one of the first steps you're gonna wanna do is remove this top plastic cover right here. And right down here, you'll actually see these little tabs pull back and out. Right there. And all along the grill, you can kind of pull them with your fingers. tab slides out if you need to. You can bend it to make sure that you clear the spot, but other than that, there's no screws holding this in. So now with this top part exposed, you're going to want to remove, there's a Torx, I believe it's a T30 right here. Rather, uh, rather. All right, now little bro's gonna get on, on some action. Let's go ahead and remove that T30 right there. Those three pulled out. Next, you're gonna to wanna to break your wheels free and lift up the car. Then of course, you're gonna to wanna to jack up the car. And if you're using your uh, janky Harbor Freight jack stands that are recalled like I am, make sure you also support your car with a jack as well. So let's get into it. Okay, now that you have your wheel removed, you wanna remove the screws here. Thankfully for me, the previous owner already removed them and threw them away, so no need for me to do that. You have a T25 right here, and you might need to take one of the upper ones off as well if you need more room. But pretty much once you take this one off, you'll have access to the bolt that you need to get to and access down there. So here we go. Well, there's the T25 in here too. So we'll remove that guy right there. And then next it exposes both of these Torx T30s, which is what we were trying to get to. Sorry, these are both T25s. One down here, and one right here. We'll uh, get to removing this stuff. Get this one in here. One right here. One right here. That should give you access to those bolts right there. Remove the three retaining screws. There is a uh, bolt back there, and uh, it's a 10. You wanna remove that on each side. All right, next, after you have that bolt removed that's inside here, you'll wanna pull this out. Pop that stuff free. That should slide up right there. So remember you're gonna have wires connected to your fog lights and also the headlight washer if you have those options. So don't just yank it off, we're gonna get something to set it. So we're not even gonna pull the bumper all the way off most likely. All right, next you're gonna want a bucket to catch any of the stuff that spills out. You'll have a little clip right here and it'll have this little black tab. You can get a little pick up and underneath it and then you just pry that up. Damn. Well, we lost it, hang on. All right, so then when you disconnect this, oh, be prepared for your whole bumper to fall. And so when you pop that out, it'll drain some fluid out there. So next, you're gonna wanna undo all these clips. I got these clips. Ow. A little more down here. All right, so we're on the back side of the grill now, and you'll locate all of these uh, T20 bolts. You wanna locate all of those all throughout the grill here, and you want to remove all of those around there. So now that you 
have the grill all disconnected. We'll just come right off. All right, so we found out the hard way that you can't use the factory screws, the T25s or T20s that we pulled out. Uh, instead, we're gonna switch to the hardware that they provided uh, for the mounting brackets and screw those in. So, one downside to this grill, it doesn't use the same size screws. All right, on top of the screws not fitting, this is not a direct fit part. At least for my Audi, when we're putting it up, and we have it mounted here. The back side is hitting it so that it can't go in. Um, right through this little gap, which equates to this part right here is sticking out too far on both sides to let the grill sit right. So we're gonna hack this off right here. Don't worry there, mate, we'll make it. Nice. This is what the area looks like on the left side. Um, this is one I already cut out. As you can see, the, the ridge is really cleared out. I haven't really cleaned it up yet, so it's just a rough cut. I had to do this so that the grill would sit flush because I'll be caught dead before I mount a grill that is not flush with my bumper. So you can see from the space right there. And uh, now I'm gonna cut this one and show you that here. Right, so I got the test fitment on with just a few screws. Now that I've made the trimming on the inside of the bumper, uh, this lines up how I want it to. Very particular and OCD about how my stuff lines up. I don't care if it's a cheap part, I will do my best to make it line up perfectly. So let's go ahead and get it on the car and uh, show you what it looks like from there. All right, so one thing I don't like is that my bumper is chrome. So behind the grill, you see it chrome. So I'm gonna be super extra. Instead of just rattle can spraying it, we're gonna take this thing to the powder coat shop and go get a powder coat of black. All right, I have it up and semi-mounted. Now you just wanna reconnect your washer fluid, your lights, your fog lights, and of course, your other washer fluid lamp. Um, it's extremely boring to show you, so I'm just gonna show you with the car finished. Uh, right here is where I had to make the cuts. You can really only tell if you look up really close at it. Other than that, I decided to go no emblem, no license plate. We'll dry it off and show you here. <laughs> <laughs> 